Hey everybody, this is Bill from Fit and 50 Plus, and uh, it's been quite a while since I posted a new video. Um, been pretty busy in my personal life, and um, I've had um, some long term extended runs with some gear, and that's what the purpose of today's video is. Um, I think in a previous video, which I'll link it uh, in the description. I did my review of the Garmin 645, which is this watch right here. Um, overall, from a runner's perspective, I'm very happy uh, with the Garmin 645. I like the, the new footprint, the size is great. Um, the, um, the metrics that are delivered are top notch. Um, you really can't um, get better. Um, you can pair it with things like uh, Garmin's running pod, which I don't use all the time, but um, you know um, I do occasionally just to see where I'm at. Um, um, and and like I said, from that perspective, I couldn't be happier. Now, of course, this is the 645 Music, and one of the downfalls, one of the drawbacks I had mentioned um, in my review was that there was some um, uh, Bluetooth um, uh, headset incompatibilities. Um, and that's still the case. They've gone through a couple of different um, Bluetooth radio um, um, firmware upgrades and some overall upgrades, and it has improved somewhat, um, but there are still very few headsets that um, can seamlessly uh, work with the Garmin 645. Now, honestly, that's the reason I got it. I was never really a music uh, person when I ran outdoors because I... Um, kind of just didn't like the clunkiness of wires banging on me and all that type of thing. I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but um, when I got this, um, I started experimenting um, with some clunkier headsets that had wires and um, they connected okay. I wasn't happy going more than a mile or two with them, but I really got hooked on having music while I ran. And what I found, believe it or not, was that I was trimming seven, eight, nine minutes off a five minute run, off, off a five, excuse me, a five mile run, uh, if I had music playing in the background. So I kind of got hooked on it. So I was hoping that they would work with my standbys, um, my AirPods, and these things are great. Um, they sound really good, charge lasts really long. Um, I love them. Um, and they're still not ready for prime time with the 645 music, uh, unfortunately. There's numerous cutouts, although when you run, you, you have your arms in this position, it's much better than when they're down by your side. Um, there still are cutouts that are annoying. You know it's going to come, and it's almost like when you're running, you want to focus on the run. You want to focus on the music, but you really can't because you know that eventually, at some point, you're going to get a three-second cutout for no reason at all. Your arms are exactly the same spot, and that was really, really annoying. I didn't want to go out and buy one of the preferred types of uh, headsets that are recommended on the Garmin website because after all the AirPods are 160 bucks and the ones that they recommend for the most part they're all very expensive as well um, but after <clears throat> using music and trying for a month month and a half through a couple of different firmware upgrades on the watch itself I finally had to throw in the towel and I went out and um, I picked up a pair of these these are the Aftershocks Trex Air, and these are bone conducting um, headphones. Um, these things uh, work very well with the 645, and that is what I am going to talk about um, today with this review. I'm going to start, however, just with a brief unboxing of these. So, as you can see uh, from the box, um, you've got a real premium quality looking presentation, um, a nice picture of the uh, product and a manly man wearing them. Um, that's what I try to emulate, of course. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, just the typical uh, catchphrases, a nice uh, information bit on the back about the product, another great product image, and uh, we're back to the front. The box itself is very nice, wrapped in cellophane, um, 
peel the cellophane off and you've got a nice magnetic uh, latch that um, keeps the box sealed and pristine in case you want to put them back in. Um, let me see that in a second as I ditch the cellophane and here's a little tab pop it open like I said that's magnetic you get this nice presentation front and center are the uh, the Trex Airs um, took me a second to find the tab to get them out of the plastic I'm looking around hunting and fishing but as you can see it's a real uh, nice presentation that you see and uh, the actual tab is on the right hand side you just pop that up over on the right hand side with the tape and come on Billy you can do it you can find it you can find it oh there it is yeah excellent and anyways you uh, pop that open and out comes the actual product itself uh, I will say that it is taped kind of funny into that base packaging that you see there. You kind of have to pull the tape off. Underneath it, you've got the accessories pack, and you got your registration card, and um, the accessories pack is really well done. Um, you know, there's not a whole heck of a lot of accessories, but it's put together very nicely, on par with an Apple product or a high-end product. You've got a very nice feeling carrying case um, it's kind of like a rubbery plasticky soft cushion thing it's very nice quality uh, I don't know if I'll use it a whole lot uh, but um, inside of it um, you've got the other particulars and the plastic bag is just as nice in quality it's a real nice quality plastic bag you almost hate to tear it apart I think I heard somebody else mention that on one of the other reviews uh, but once you uh, open it up, you'll find all the rudimentary manuals in a whole bunch of different languages. You've got uh, warranty information, all that type of stuff. Um, you get that out of the way. And then you've got the standard uh, USB charging cable. Uh, nothing special there. Um, I've got a million of those. And then you've got some uh, squishy earplugs in case you decide that you want to uh, use the product and get a little better audio quality. So just as a preface, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to um, say that I did start out with the cheaper Trex Titaniums, which is the previous version of their um, bone conducting headphones. And um, they paired very easily um, and they stayed connected. I never actually uh, ran into any disconnects or anything like that. They worked very well. Um, but um, they were, in build construction, a little thicker, a little heavier, uh, especially around the ears. And these things rest over your ears. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, I found that after about two, two and a half miles with those, um, with the platinum version, that my left ear specifically, and I don't know if it's because one ear is higher than the other or not, but my left ear specifically um, um, got sore on me. Um, and I actually, to the point where after about two and a half miles, I had to take them off mid-run and run the rest of the run without them because they were weighing down so much on my ears. That's not the case with the new version, the Airs. Now these run 150 bucks. I have not seen them on sale yet. Um, they come in a couple of different colors. Um, I'm pretty basic when it comes to these things. I go for the basic grays. But um, what they do is they basically have a pad on each side here that attaches over your ears and touches your cheekbone, your upper cheekbone. And I don't know if you've never heard of these or not, but they rest over your ears like this. They rest on your cheekbone, and as you can see, there's nothing in my ear at all. It basically uses this thing as a transmitter into the bone, and it transmits through the bone to your eardrum. And basically, what happens is, is that you get the vibrations to your eardrum, and um, you can hear the music. Um, I'm not really a scientist when it comes to this type of stuff, 
but I find that fascinating. Um, and they work very well. Now, the one thing that I will say is that these are not audiophile um, style headphones. I mean, if you're expecting to get the, you know, um, the results like uh, over the air set of, you know, $700 cans, just ain't gonna happen. They're not even as good as the Apple AirPods, quite honestly. Um, they don't seal the noise out, but that's not what they're intended to do. Your ears are open and they're really perfect for bicycling, running, hiking, any type of outdoor sports where you want to be aware of your surroundings. And that was also one of the reasons why I never used music in my, you know, 15 plus years of running previous to this, was I want to be aware of, you know, what's around me. If a dog's running up behind me, um, you know, if a truck's coming down the road, I want to meet my maker. I want to see it coming and give myself a chance to, uh, you know, maybe dodge it. Um, I don't want to just be, you know, um, in my own little world and uh, the next thing you know, I'm no longer here, that type of thing. So uh, I, I found that important. The AirPods, to a certain extent, allow some outside noise to leak in, and that's why I really wanted to give those a shot. But with these, these, you basically can hear everything that's going on around you. Now, some people might think that that's kind of odd, and it, is, it does take a little getting used to. Um, but what ends up happening, and this is kind of the way I describe it, because people always ask me, you know, what do they sound like, you know, if they've never used them before? And what I tell them is, is I'm always reminded of, um, I believe it was an episode of Family Guy, where Peter Griffin um, got, he, I think he had a wish from a genie, and he wanted, one of his wishes was, he wanted to have his own theme music. And that's kind of what these do. It's like, as I'm running down the road, you can hear everything around you, but you've got your music motivating you kind of in the background. It's almost like you have your own theme music as you're running. I know that that's kind of funny and people laugh when they say that, but then when they try them, they're like, yeah, you know, you're kind of right. I can hear that over there. I can hear that over there, but I can hear the music all at the same time. So that's basically how they work. Um, they come with air, you know, uh, as, you, as you saw on the unboxing, they come with um, some earplugs. If you really want to get decent quality sound, you know, you can plug the earplugs into your ears or you can just test it by popping your fingers over your, your earlobes and shutting your ears off and you can see how much richer and, and bigger the sound is when you do that. But for me, all I wanted here is just the music, the run, and anything that may be of concern around me. And these things do it in spades. I really couldn't be happier with these things. And uh, in regards to the weight, they were lighter than the Platinums. This over the top of my ear is much thinner and um, you know, I've worn them on several long five plus mile runs, haven't had any issues that I have with the Platinums in, in terms of, you know, pain over the ear or anything like that. Um, they've really, really done well by me and I'm extremely happy um, that I uh, invested the 150 bucks on them. Um, with that said, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to um, throw them uh, below. Um, I will try and get back to every one of them. I would really appreciate um, you subscribing to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted my last video, but I'll try and keep more frequent ones. I think I got one coming uh, very soon um, on my 100 mile test with my New Balance Zante V4s. Um, so I'll be putting that up, uh, let you know how those worked out for me. And um, like I said, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell if you want to get up updates when I put new videos on. And with that said, you have a great day. This is Bill from Fit and 50 Plus. Thank you very much for watching.